Hello everyone and welcome to the last, last edition of Rock and Roll of the Year. Greg Rowden, you've had a few while I've been away gallivanting in Europe and while I have been away you've had a few stories and the Kirtley Bill story, it keeps rolling. It does, it's volcano eruption <laughs> after vo volcano eruption. We've been really loving your photos on Facebook while we've been here on the coalface <laughs> too. Look, terrific, you've had a good time but here, yeah, it's been, it's been an unbelievable saga, very sad saga, and the point is, this may not be the last, last, last show of Rock and Roll this year because anything could happen in the next few weeks because there's so much more to come out. But at the moment, the point is, it's if we could talk for hours about yeah. this episode, but the, the problem is there is major problems at the core of Australian rugby where the ARU board and administrators have dropped the ball and you've got a situation where yeah. Kirtley Bill has been... Well, he's being suspect. He's got a fine, but he's you know he's not, not playing for the Wallabies. And um, there's been a lot of misleading statements mm -hmm. and some really ridiculous things going on involving ARU administrators the last few weeks. And I, I guess we we've spoken there at the administrators where where there's a problem. Obviously, Ewan McKenzie's gone. Mm. Michael Check is coming in. Will he have a, a difference? You know, he, he had a major effect on the Waratahs in terms of culture. Mm. You're, you're right, Andy. He is the knight in white, the white shining armour here, because he will he was all, he will make changes to the Australian Rugby Union, which they need. And already, Checker has basically put Bill Paul with the CEO yeah. and Michael Hawker on notice. Um, he doesn't rate either of them, and that is a, not a secret that is well known. <laughs> And also, the point is also at the John Eels medal night last Thursday night yeah, before I've the team. Yeah, I've heard a few things about this. Well, well, let me just say that Checker basically had a go at Pulver and had a go at Hawke and basically told them to pick up their act because this is yeah. an absolute mess. And you, what you will see was what he did at Waratahs. He distanced, distanced head office away from yeah. the team. Well, and he, he had do, problems he with, the same it, here. With, with head office yeah, at Waratahs. Yeah, he did. Oh, he? enormous yeah. problems. But you see, quite a few of those guys are gone. And he would do the same here. There was quite a number of ARU officials who were the ultimate in jersey tuggers. They love getting in the dressing rooms, palling around with the players. He will stop that. And the players will, will relish that because yeah. the respect of the players towards the ARU is very, very poor. They do not yeah. respect or a number of the ARU guys. And some of the names of the board people they don't respect would shock you. Yeah. And I can understand why, because some of the devious things some of these people have done is it's just it's sickening. We're talking about the ARU here. That we had a, a little bit of a reaction on, on, on the website to, to a story that we published yesterday that the ARU isn't going to go in chasing down the, suppo you know, the supposed second man who delivered this the well, supposed second there's a good reason text. for that. There's a very good reason for that, and I really can't get into it because <laughs> it would, let's just say, my information, my knowledge of this is that I under, I, I've got a very, very good idea who did that second message, and I, all I can say, I can understand the AU not wanting it to come out. As simple as that. It This, this stinks to high hell, so the, it's, the whole episode. So, in conclusion... As well, you they're said, saying they don't know who it is. I find that very, very surprising, yeah. but even more so, what's ridiculous was this Bill hearing where the two core characters, Di Patston, mm -hmm. the Wallabies business manager, who'd caused so much troubles within that player yep. group, and the coach, Ewan McKenzie, who are at the core of all these complaints, are not at the tribunal. Yeah, it's a kangaroo court. It's not a proper judicial system. Yeah. You know, where else could that happen? Where a person, a player, they say, "Oh well, he, you know, Bill will be allowed to give his side of the story." But this followed two or three weeks of the RU just slagging him off. And the point yeah. is, people say, "Oh, you're in the Bill camp." Well, that's absolute rubbish. I've been probably the most vehement critic of Bill over the For years. For sure. And, but in this case, it's a point of justice and honesty. And this is where I back Bill, because I think what's happened is unforgivable. Well, that's strong words, Greg Rowden, and thanks for that. And who knows, may not be the very, very last. Yeah, we might be back next week. Year. Exactly. <laughs>